Jason. Now, we first became aware of Hermione Norris when she played Karen in Cold Feet. Then she was the ruthless Ros Myers in Spooks, coming to a very sticky end in a bomb blast. She was a detective in Wire in the Blood, the wife in the remake of Bouquet of Barbed Wire, the manic depressive sister in Kingdom, and she's now on another planet in Outcasts. And she's been touring the country and is about to appear in the West End as Ruth, the second wife in Noel Coward's blithe spirit. Hermione, you began as a ballet dancer. Why did you choose acting instead? Well, I was um, 11 when I auditioned to go to Elmhurst Ballet School. I failed my 11 plus, <coughs> excuse me, and my ballet teacher suggested that I audition to go and I got a scholarship to go. You could have a grant in those days and I got a scholarship to go to ballet school. And at 11, obviously, you're quite young to be making decisions, long-term decisions. And when I was about 15, Andrew Neal, who was a teacher at RADA, came to Elmhurst and he really took me un under his wing and inspired me to become an actress. And also, uh, classical ballet is an incredibly narrow discipline and I think I was somebody who needed a lot more breadth and acting really provided that for me. Well, you've spent a lot of time on television. How easy has <laughs> it been to pick up the demands of live theatre again? Oh, terrifying, to be honest. I mean, you know, I hadn't been on stage for 12 years. I did the 24-hour plays, actually, at the Old Vic about five years ago, which was, a, was an amazing experience. But <clears throat> to draw, to be backstage and be drawing on, on you know, techniques and information and, and all my experience of 10 years ago was completely surreal but you know I went when I when I left Lambda in 1989 I really you know I wanted to be a theatre actress you know in those days rep was still very much in existence and you wrote to every single rep theatre in the country and that's what I really wanted and I believed that that would be you know where my career took me. So. Now Blythe Spirit is very well known. Ruth is the second wife. The first comes back from the dead. Mm -hmm. What is most difficult to master when you're playing card? Well, you know, you sort of re I read it and thought, what a nice light comedy, you know, very, you know, incredibly well executed, beautifully written. And actually when it comes to it, it is technically incredibly challenging because it's like playing a game of vocal ping pong ball with a glass ball and one of the people that you're playing with is invisible because of course not, I can't see the wife and if you drop it, if you drop a line, it sort of smashes <laughs> it smashes on the floor and it takes quite a while to you know, it's it's quite visible, so it's it's technically really challenging. I think. Now, Robert Bathurst, who was your husband in Cold Feet, plays Charles. That's right. How easy is it to play a completely different kind of relationship with the same bloke? To be honest, I mean, Coward's so prescriptive. I mean, it's all so clearly there on the page. That is your 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 guideline and your um, roadmap is on the page. So, really, the individual who's playing opposite you is you know it's defined by the writing i mean it, it, obviously it's nice to have somebody that you're familiar with and robert and i've driven each other mad for years now <laughs> but um you know it's it's you know coward is very different from mike bullen's cold feet how important was cold feet in really launching your career in television well it goes on really you know at the time you have no idea you know we we received the script for the pilot it went to the golden it won the golden rose of montreux which nobody expected it to and i think it surprised us all and i always knew it would be in hindsight i realized because when you're involved in something you can't see it objectively and you know still people it was a very it was a much loved piece of television and and still people ask me about it all the time and i don't suppose when you're involved in it we knew at the time the enormity of it really it just hit the zeitgeist at yes, the right time it, really didn't did. it? it was yes. about re relationships between young couples yes. and and the kind of changes that were taking place uh, ros myers in spooks yes now she i reckon was your best known character yeah how fit did you have to be to play her? Oh, Jenny. I mean, when, well, I did one series when I was, I was, you know, sort of seven months pregnant with Hero, so I was sort of shot from Yeah, the how did down. you cover that up? <laughs> I put my hands in my pockets a lot of the time and stood behind Rupert Penry Jones or a filing cabinet. But, you know, I did, I mean, it makes me cringe now when I think about the physical stuff that I did when I was so pregnant, actually. But uh, after that, you know, it tended to be that I would have a lot of running scenes and I'd think, well, I'd better, <laughs> I better get on the rower for a bit so that I don't, you know, look completely ridiculous. But 
Um, you know, obviously with small children working those hours, you don't really have to. I don't have time to sort of spend hours in the gym. I just don't. And I don't. <laughs> and how, how much? I mean, everybody watches that series. Everybody loves that series mm. and says, oh, gosh, they're so clever, you know, to get such mm. plots that seem to have such relevance. How much did you really know about real spooks and meet them and find out how they worked? Well, I did actually get to meet some, some um, a spy. And, but, they're, you know, you, you can obviously, they're never going to divulge much information because they are spies. And I'm sure they all had a good laugh, you know, once a week when we when when we sort of saved the world again with about three or four or five of us <laughs> but you know it is a fascinating world and um and i think you know because everything's so current it's sort of an endless mine of subject matter it will go on and on mm. well we all hope it will yeah. go on and on and classically it has killed off or viciously tortured <laughs> its lead characters yeah. with ruthless efficiency at what point do you find out what your demise will be? Well, you know, obviously you have a contract, so you know when you're going to leave the series. But how you're going to go is always, you know, leaf through the pages to see if you're going to be blown up or put in a defat fryer or, you know. And what did you make of the way Roz was dispatched? Um, I did. I, I, I liked it, I think. I mean, I, it was all, it was, you know, the scripts on it are very current and you get them very last minute. I didn't really have that much time to sort of ponder it, really. I just sort of went for it and, and I think it was, an explo it was an explosion. So I was hoping that the CGI would be quite good. <laughs> the, the CGI was, was very, very good, as I would call it. But I thought what was nice about it was that she was, because she was such a hard, tough yeah, she character, was. that she died being kind and, and loyal and wanting yes. to protect and save someone did you like that? sorry clearly i love this program yeah. did you like that about her oh i loved ross i loved playing ross i think you know because i do think that that was her at the very heart of her you know she was always um you know endeavoring to to do the right thing and save people and and I, if i was in trouble i would want ross Myers on my side yeah. yes i think we all would uh, you have played some very intense women, you know, that, mm. that list of characters that I gave, the intensity, I think, runs through them all. Uh, Stella Green Outcast is no exception. She's extremely intense. How much is that intensity a reflection of your own personality? Probably quite a lot, Jenny. <laughs> I'd like to say not, but I think I probably am quite an intense person. And as an actor, you know, you're always drawing on parts of yourself and turning up the volume and turning down the volume on, on various parts of yourself. So how much are you looking forward to coming to the West End with Blythe Spirit? I'm terrified, but it'll be... I'm glad. It's, it's really good to be back. You know, to remind myself of why I became an actress in the first place and to be back in that discipline is, is fantastic. Hermione Norris, thank you very much thank indeed for being with us.